So looking at young a young Chris Farley, Sarah, and I just want to, well, let me back down. I want to back down off this a little bit. Um, let's see how I want to do this. I just want to, all right. Sorry about this. I, I should have had this done before. Okay, here's your Chris Farley. And I just want to say that um, this is this, you got this down to four colors. That's excellent. Great job. And you've really, really done a nice job. See how much easier this is going to be to work with um, instead of having all those different layers of different colors. Now your question pertains to smoothing out the edges. And I want to tell you something that I hope makes sense to you. Right now, I think you're ready to go. I think this could be used as the basis for your illustration. And as long as you understand it, you know, these little loopy areas right here. Like the idea here is that you've got your different tonal ranges for you now to start assembling your type. Okay, lightest color type, a little darker type, a little darker type, and of course the black type. Okay, and that's how you would assemble your typographic portrait. So that being said, I just think that it's, it's you, yes, you will be able to see that you, you, you don't have to fill in each one of these little you know, jagged lines. But the jagged lines I was talking about were this. Okay, see in the eyes? Let's just get real close to the eyes here. And let's take this right there. And instead of having this go like this, go like this, and then come down, there's a squared off and come down like down like that, and then it comes over like that, way up like that, and then it curves like that, then it goes straight over, then it comes up like that, and all these weird shapes. What I would do is I would either go in there and redraw it, lock it down and redraw it with your pen tool, or go in there and edit some points out to get this more to a smooth, organic shape that looks like this. Okay, as opposed to bump. Bump, 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 bump. See what I'm saying? And these lines right here are really good. This line right here would be a good example too, because instead of having to go like this, boom, 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 you would just take that line and smooth it out so it would go more illustrative, more organic, and more natural. So it would look less like a digital portrait and more like a natural portrait. Okay, but it's important for you to know that what you have right here is excellent. I think that you can probably really get started and learn a lot here. Okay, good job. Thanks. Oh, if this doesn't answer your question, just please, um, well, let me know either way. But if, if it doesn't, I'll be glad to make another little instruction. Just let me know what I forgot. Okay, thank you.